doesn't like a good old fashioned crew summoning? In this video, I'm gonna rip open 200. That's right, 200 Rebel Citation devices looking for those legendaries. So stick around to see what we get. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chisco Gaming, and this video has been sponsored by the makers of Infinite Galaxy. And I mean, who doesn't love a good old fashioned loot box? I want to rip these things open. I want to see what I get. I'm really hoping for some legendary crew, obviously, and the tiered rewards right over here for every 30 we do. The guaranteed could be pretty awesome. So let's get this party started 10 at a time. And Captain Goodman is a great way to start. Boosting the damage of my cruisers. Yup. Pretty happy about that pull. Even though I do have him pretty high level already. And 240 of that crew. Mm, crew EXP and 80 over there is really nice. Let's rip this again. And full John Smith Connor right off the start. Actually not a terrible captain for a flagship. 700 crew experience and another 240 and 80 and 20 and 5. I think we got the rainbow there. Is that... Oh, that's every tier of experience, isn't it? Woo, that's a good one. Okay, let's rip it again. What do we get? Oh, hello. Bolt is here. Only one, but I'll take it. Bolt and a little bit of experience. This pull may be a little bit weaker than the other ones. Madeline, I could probably do an upgrade to her. I'll do that during the Galaxy Star event. And Dorothy, here's our guaranteed epic or better. Hey, she's good for combat. She boosts, I believe, armor, so I'll take it. I'm good with that. Warship armor. Nice. Okay. Let's keep the crew going here. This pull, the new weakest that I've gotten here. Robbie Senny Nicholas is great. I want more warship building speed. John Smith Connor is fine. I do use him as a captain for now, but I think that's going to change around a little bit. Let's recruit again. And three Robbie Senny Nicholas is nice. One Helen, I actually have her maxed at this point, if I'm not mistaken, so well, that's a little bit of a rip. And then there's a Madeline card one more time to round it out, and this is okay. Two Amelia Irving, very good for destroyers. I'm not using Harvey Garrett Wild. 25 crew experience, as eh, maybe a weak pull. What do we get from the guaranteed spot? Uh, Lincoln is not a crew member I'm really using. Well, you know, is what it is. Let's take another shot at this. Hope for the best. There we go, baby. Michael Flamingo, full 10 spot. Yes, Frigates is my jam. Getting him is amazing. Oh, that's a good pull. Paul Malthus is amazing. The other crew, I mean, okay. Zen, I actually use her currently. Pretty happy about that. That's a good pull. It's a little bit of crew experience. Love it. Let's go again. We've got Aldridge Chase Corey, a bunch of them. That's great. Madeline and Zen ones out. This is a good pull overall. 20 crew experience to round it out. And up next is a decent pull. A lot of epics in here. 240 crew experience. More uh, Justin. I, I, he's good. And more Michael Flamingo and Robbie Sunny Nicholas. Let's rip this sucker open. Okay, Captain Goodman's a good pickup. Cruisers. Let's freaking go. There it is. Okay, let's rip open three more, and oh, baby, legendary, let's go, 10 of the data cards right over here for Molly Mayer, she's good, man, she's really, really solid, I have 38 now, let's freaking go, that's hype, okay, new best pull in the session, slam dunk, also one of Justin, 240 crew experience, I mean, was, this is like, the, the rainbow pull on experience, except my, we needed the 700 spot, but okay. Sweet. Let's do it again. What do we got? Another 160 EXP, and I'm not even using Dorothy. Definitely a weaker pull. A lot of fodder there for the exchange shop. We do another 10 spot, and we get the guaranteed epic coming up. 160 experience popping off with one John Smith Connor. Okay, a weaker pull for sure. Round it out with a guaranteed... Ugh, a Maggie. Not amazing. Not amazing. Okay, well, is what it is. Let's keep smashing these open. There is two Aldridge Chase Corey, three Aldridge Chase Corey, uh, three Harvard Gary Wild, and the Captain Goodman. This is fine. I'll smash it again. And 700 experience. I'll take it, baby. 
I need that experience so badly to be powering up my crew. And there's one Rebecca and also 80 crew experience. Smash it again. And we think we get our guaranteed pull here. Three Flamingo, two Who, and uh, one Amagi and one Rebecca. Not really using those last two, but let's take our guaranteed pull at uh, Harvey Garrett. Harvey Garrett Wild, not a crew member that I'm really using all that much of here. We're going to smash our way through 60 more summons. Let's go, baby. What do we get? Uh, 160 experience and one Dorothy. Definitely a weaker pull. Definitely on the weaker side of things. There's a full Zen. Hey, okay, I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. Hey, okay, well, I have Helen maxed. Little awkward. Little awkward. 11 Helen. <laughs> Exchange shop fodder. Ruby of Hessen data cards is obviously as fantastic. One more before we get the guaranteed. And we're looking at three Madelines. 240 of the true training, uh, crew training training course. I got this, I swear. And we get the guaranteed Dorothy Rip, man. I'm not getting great stuff in the guaranteed pull here, but I did get the 10 Molly Mayors, which I feel pretty good about. Let's rip this open. Ooh, good pull. One Laura, one Bruno, three John Smith. Okay, three Dorothy I'm not using, but three Amelia's is good. Uh, one Harvey and two Helen. I guess that, that's a pretty solid pull. That's a pretty solid pull in the grand scheme of things. No experience in there. This one's a little bit weaker. Two Madelines is nice. 25 crew experience is on the lower end of things. Final pull, baby. What do we get? Oh, full Dorothy. All right, all right, all right. That's fine. I got a Bolt. I get a Bruno. And I think I'm going to get a bundle here when I just back out of my, my screen here and go to the main screen. There's Rebecca. I did get that full unlock of Molly, which the legendary arrival more Molly if you want it for five bucks. This is generally a good deal. Uh, buying these is a part of the reason why I have the Rebel Citation devices to actually uh, do all these pulls. So yeah, I'm going to pick this up. Be right back. All right. Purchase is... There we go. Confirmed. There it is. We grab that. And if we just get a look at the wartime crew that I'm using at this exact moment, here's where I'm at. I've obviously got some upgrades to do. I need to rearrange my points a little bit to be more effective for battling other players. I mean, I'm entering that stage of the game where do I care about the PvE content as much as the PvP? Obviously not. So I've got to go in and probably rework my talent points over here, my spaceport points, to be a little more advantageous for battling other players. That's probably going to be the topic for a separate video. But as I mentioned earlier, yeah, my Helen's maxed out over here, which is a little awkward. So all those goodies... All those data cards ultimately become fodder for the shop. I am very eager for Pearson to see how well he will do. I think he's going to be fantastic. Obviously, giving myself more fleet leadership limit and kinetic weapon attack is going to be gangbuster. So I am really hyped for that. I think that's a crew member that is going to be very performant. Eldritch Chase Corey is going to be very important for me as a frigate player. The kinetic damage there is really, really crucial. And I mentioned earlier, I got a bunch of who that gives warship armor uh, because I've moved away from the Artemis Orion combo and into the Titan. Having the armor is actually more important than it was before. And warship hit points, obviously important for all fleets that I'm bringing out. So I feel pretty good about this crew. I think that once I get to my tier 10s, I'm going to be looking to make someone like Aldred Chase Corey the captain of the flagship. And then I'm going to bring a crew member like uh, this dude right over here, Michael Flamingo, back to be uh, in the... Wow, I can max him. Like, I'm going to max max him, and then I'm just done. Oh, wow, I didn't realize I was so close. Ooh, frigates all the way, right? So I put him in my spaceport, and I, I guess I feel a little weird about that swap. Um, on the one hand, it's going to give me a combat crew member, and I really like the combat points. On the other hand, I still will probably have use for lower tiers of warships, and for as long as that's the case, I actually probably should have him as the captain and my damage-specific commanders as my crew. That, that in the short term will make sense. In the long term, though, it's definitely going to be a swap that I make. Uh, captain Goodman's, Goodman's really close. Amelia Irving is really close. 
I mean, my crew is in a very good spot right now. If you enjoyed this video and the rip of 200 Rebel Citation devices, throw a like on here. Consider subscribing. This is not the first time I've done an opening uh, of crew members. In fact, I'll have a card up in the top if you want to check out the last time I ripped open some crew. And until next time, you have fun smashing your enemies.